further ado, a warm Southern welcome to our friend, hey. David Knox. Thank you. And many of us have spent our career learning what to say. When the seller says this, I say this, then they say this, and I say this, and then I do response over 27A, 27B, and then I say this, and then they say that. The problem is, the sellers don't know their lines. And you're trying to memorize all your dialogue and you use this. Oh, she wants to cut her commission? Well, that's because she knows what she's worth because she's cheap. I didn't even know she was out of prison yet. <laughs> you know? And we have all these great lines. And I believe me, I've been doing this seminar for years and realtors come up to me and say, oh, here's my line. Here's another, here's another. I say this, then I say this. I say, hey, I don't want you to be tongue tied, but do not rely just on dialogue. When a real estate office phone rings, I think everybody goes, shh, get down, shh, get down. <laughs> they call up, hi, this is David Knox Real Estate. How may I help you today? Wow, yes, is this a real person? By the way, when I get calls from real estate people on my own company phone, I say, hi, David Knox Productions, this is David Knox, and they go, hello? Oh, I thought this was a message. I, oh, I thought this was an answer message. No, this is David Knox live to you, and if you'd like to speak to me, you may do so at the tone. Beep. <laughs> and they go, so this, what, this is really you live? And I'm going, how bad has customer service gotten in this world that answering the phone becomes a way to separate yourself? That's scary. What we need to do is have a very, very, very clear distinction between familiarity and what I'll just call is direct prospecting. And that's where the money is. So to become an income earner in the business, you need to get out of familiarity into direct prospecting. And that means you're either face to face or phone to phone. And here's the question you should ask every human being when appropriate. How much longer do you plan to stay in your present home? How much longer? As time-based questions. Because if you say, hey, are you planning on moving? No. But if you say, how much longer do you plan to stay at home? Oh, we'll be here for another nine months. Well, that's different. Another two years, it doesn't matter. A time-based answer gives you something that you can work with and type into your database. So the question is, how much longer do you guys plan to stay in your home? This is where you walk in the front door. You have an eight o'clock appointment. This is where you actually do the listing presentation, maybe at 8.40, and this is where you do the, the appraisal and the pricing. Where do you think the sellers are making their decision whether or not to list with you? I'm gonna say they do it between 8 and 8.06. This is where the decision is made. And I think far too many real estate agents wait for that last couple of seconds to go through this whole presentation. And we put all the pressure on the, on the ability to close. I think that's where they list with you. And the problem is a lot of real estate agents aren't even there for those first six minutes, right? They're not even there. And they show up at about 8, 11 and go, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. Ooh, impressive. Begin with an apology. But I think when you go on a listing, one of the things I want to move you towards is maybe being a delisting agent. A delisting agent, meaning that rather than having a goal to get every single listing you go on, Maybe your goal is to figure out which one you don't want and turn down one out of 10. What do you think of that idea? How many of you right now have a listing you wish you had not taken? Can I see? Look at that, look at that. Why did you take it? Hey guys.